Hey guys, welcome back to Big Gelling and the Beast. Today we've got uh, part two, if you like, of the uh, cheap AliExpress detailing goodies. Um, I've been on another treasure hunt. <laughs> So what have we got? Well, you can see I've been uh, I've been busy accumulating stuff. Now I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for all of this. You can kind of have a guess, um, and I will tell you I will tell you at the very end. Um, so where shall we start? So I, I haven't just been buying this stuff randomly. Well, some of it I have. I've been looking at the cloths again, um, but we'll start elsewhere. So some stuff I actually wanted. First up, the carpet brush. So the, uh, the drill attachment for the carpets. Um, this is something I've wanted for a long time. £3.70. Um, should I tell you the prices as I go through? Then you'll just add them up, right? I've got to tell you how much they are, haven't I? If it's useless. Right, okay. £3.70. Nice. Medium. Medium to hard, I'd say. Um, I wouldn't like to use that on uh, on anything other than a carpet, so I wouldn't like to use that on like a fine grade material or a leather or anything like that. Um, for a carpet, that will do uh, that will do a good deep clean. You can tell. Next, where should we go next? Where should we go next? This one because I think this is cheap. This. Um, so we've all got the uh, the mitts, the the wash mitts, but this is like a wash mitt style block. I think this is just a sponge covered in the same stuff. Um, I've seen these being sold online by other companies. Maybe they're a better quality, maybe they're not. Maybe they're the same thing, who knows. Um, without one to compare, I wouldn't know. Um, Fiber seam stuck in. No issue at all there. It just feels a bit cheap. Not sure on that one. So we'll, uh, we'll leave that one to the side. Undecided on that one. But anyway, that was £2.29. Much cheaper than online, eh? Anyway, right, next. We'll go, we'll go with the little towels first. We'll go with the little towels. So this one, this one is dual-sided plush. Now I've been looking, um, I'm struggling to find the, uh, the double-sided ones, so the plush and the microfiber again, like I had before. Uh, a lot of people were asking me about them. They were amazing towels. If you haven't seen that previous video, I'll pop a link up here. Um, but then with the grey and blue ones, so it was grey on one side and blue on the other microfiber. Really nice towels, really cheap. I can't find them anymore, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I have tried. Um, yeah, plush on both sides. Nice finishing towel, but I've got, I've got a lot of them. Um, that one was £3.30. I won't be buying any more of them. Then we've got the auto care ones. Um, shout out to my friend Lee Bo. Um, Lee, you've been uh, you've been trying to catch up with me, mate, buying all this stuff, but must try harder next time, fella. <laughs> anyway, me and Lee were, were, were conflabbing when we came across these again looking for them towels. Now these are 30 by 30s, they're very small towels, and again they're plush on both sides. They're a nice towel, nice finished towel. I don't know where I'd use them, they're a bit small for my liking um, and they're more of a finishing towel than a, than a general multi-purpose so again not not nice but I probably won't be getting any more um, them were £1.30 each so not a great loss then next is this one, now this one this is, a, this is an edgeless I do like this one um, I've used this the other day for final finishing, so going around after you've taken your quick detailer off and just removing them last little marks or finishing on the glass or removing that last little bit of wax that you might have missed. This one, really nice, deep, plush pile. That one I will be buying more of, but that one did cost in comparison. Um, it was £3.90. So, you know, a little bit more than the rest, but £3.90 is, uh, is a good buy for that towel. And I've already put an order in for a lot more of them. So them will be coming soon. Getting through it. Next, where should we go next? We'll go here. We'll go here. We'll go here. So uh, for uh, another towel. Now this one, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one. This one was £2.50. Again, I'm talking like this is a lot of money, right? It's £2.50. It's, a, it's an edgeless microfiber, it says Korean, 
not too convinced. Um, it's a little bit patchy. And you can see like stripes in it. I don't know if that's meant to or not. That looks a bit that's a bit rough and ready, that one to be honest. I'm a bit disappointed with that. Um £2.50 for something that I'm probably gonna use in an engine bay. That's a lot of money. Um but anyway, you can get rid of that one. Next. Now I've seen these, definitely seen these on uh, Big Boy's websites. These are the applicator blocks, wax microfiber applicator blocks. Uh, they're basically a sponge with a microfiber on the outside. Five of them got me £2.20. Thank you very much. Bargain. Where do we go next? Oh, let's see. With, uh, with that micro, the black microfiber that I've just shown you and the microfiber block, I also had this was the same order. I got three items. I also got sent um, one of these. Now this is a swirl finding torch. Now this was, now you're talking about some of the big boys swirl finders and how much they are. £10.90, okay. This, I'll overlay some footage now. This is a great, great swirl finding pen. Honestly, it, it is really nice. It's, it's relatively heavy. It's well made. Um, it's got a really bright LED. Now these are like a like a daylight LED rather than a pure white LED. Um, and I will show you now some pictures of the roof box um, that I've got here. I'll give it a quick wipe down um, and we'll, we'll show you. Normally in perfect daylight, you will you will not really see the swirls, but under with this, I'll show you now. Amazing pen. So again, that ten pound ninety. Great bit of kit. In fact, that isn't even going back in the box. That's sitting there waiting to be used. Next. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Going back because I've got to pull this guy out. Um, with the swirl finding pen and the blocks and the black applicator, um, the guy did send me a freebie um, and he sent me this brush. Now, I think, I think, I think it's a makeup brush, but. As, as soft as it is, but something's telling me it's not because it's got an orange band around it. Whether women have orange, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I'm telling you now that is that's really soft for like an interior brush using on something like um, on, on like infotainment screens or something like that. Really, really nice, really soft. Um, I need to find a link for this because I'd like to know how much this was. Um, but as I say, he sent me that for a freebie, so that was a nice little a nice little treat. Thank you very much for that. If you ever see this video. Um, next, where do we go next, where do we go next, where do we go next? More brushes. So these were a bit of a weird one, right? So, back in the day, and that's a long time ago, I used to have a lot of water bright stuff. Not anymore, I hasten to add. Um, and I used to have their DBS brush set, not the not the plastic one with the red tops. No, 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 no. They're they're they're, they're not good. Um, these these were like they were like wooden handled brushes with different colour tops. And I, they stopped making them, um, and I was really disappointed when they stopped making them. I used to love them brushes, um, but they did have a problem. If you left them wet, and it's a user problem, right? Um, but if you left them wet, the glue would expand in the head and the head would crack and within days all of it would fall out and they would, they would, they would toss for that, right? If they got wet, they were rubbish. Um, but as a brush, they were, they, were, they were top. And I always knew that they'd come from China. I just knew it. Um, and I found these, um, which are pretty much the same brush. In fact, this, this orange one is the same brush. These are very small. They never did a brush in this size. Um, but what's weird about this, is they're branded up with something called Pulse Auto Registered Trademark, right? They've all got it on. Is that the Chinese brand? Is that a UK brand, an, a, an American brand, whatever, um, that, are, that these are pumping out? I, I don't know. Um, Pulse Auto, who knows? But then, them brushes, where were them, where were them, where were them, where were them? Three pounds and thirty p, so one pound ten each. Can't complain. Uh, next, where should we go next? We'll start. We'll start again. So, 
I've been on the lookout for something for pet hair as well, um, in the back of the Ranger. Um, I do have a dog cage for Marley, my Jack Russell, and he molts like mad. Um, so in the cage, he's absolutely fine, but if he shakes or anything like that, then hair will come out of the cage, obviously, and go into the bedroom. So it's like a carpet that I've got in the back of the truck. Um, and it's a pain in the ass, it's a big carpet to be moving out. So I've, I've looked and I've bought this. Now this is uh, it's just a rubber, multi-bristle, dog hair brush. Um, this was from the MJJC store, and that was £4.90. Uh, yet to use it, so I can't give a review on that yet, but uh, I'm hoping that, that'll be good. Uh, we'll leave the MJJC stuff because I want to I want to talk about them in a, bit, in a minute. Um, next, quick release for a Karcher K4. Now, instead of using the big long Karcher Lance, um, I've seen these new fangled handles that everybody's using. This quick release, bayonet fixing, stubby gun, jobs are good, right? That, £3.20. £3.20. Doesn't come with any of the attachments, so I went on the hunt for them. Now, the little attachments that you can get, which are these, they come in all different colours with all different degrees of uh, degrees of fan on, on the water jets and strength, etc. Um, then on AliExpress were, I think they were about one pound, or were they three pound twenty? I think they were three pound twenty each. Um, so that was that was as much. That was as much as the quick release again per nozzle, okay? Um, maybe I didn't need a full set, but I wanted a full set. But a full set of five? Yeah, five. That would have been 15 or 16 pound, okay? I ain't gonna pay that. So I went on a hunt and I found this. Now this again is a quick release lamp. It's got the full set, all on a nice little holder. Bayonet fixing for Karcher K-Series. And that, with all the bits, £10.17. 10 quid. And I've been using these. So these, uh, these and this, I've been using um, on the truck this weekend. It's great. It, it worked really well. Um, it, it is what it is, you know. There's not a lot to it. It's a quick relax. Quick release fix on, on, a, on a bayonet fixing. Um, I can't really see how people can charge any more for that. Um, get on that. Um, and last but not least, I came across a video that somebody posted um, on one of the range forums actually. Um, of, um, it's not something new as such, it's something I've heard of before but never really given much thought to. And it was around the two bucket method, two bucket wash method. And they were saying, why the hell would you use two buckets and one, two wash mitts? Um, and you're transferring the dirt back from your car, back into the wash, into the mitt, into the wash, rinse bucket, and then to go again. Whereas what they were saying was, just use a foam cannon with shampoo, uh, not, not snow foam, but shampoo in the foam cannon, Lather the car off with the, with the shampoo and have one bucket, literally uh, a, like a, a dead bucket, if that makes sense in a minute, um, and then have many, many, many wash mitts. Okay, so instead of using one mitt and lots of water, you're using many mitts and not a lot of water. So the idea being is you lather the car up with, with shampoo from a lance and then you have. Uh, I think there were one, one mitt for the top half on the left hand side, one mitt for the bottom half, repeat for the other side, one for the roof, one for the back, one for the bonnet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mitts, okay? So I thought, you know, that's, yeah, that's not, not a bad idea. Um, so I may give that a go in the future. Um, but that also got me thinking, as I don't like using a wash mitt. I used to use a wash pad or wash or yeah oh yeah wash pad um, and then I went to the mitt the blue and white mitt uh, square mitt you pop your hand in that everybody's got and I found myself or I find myself all the time taking that off my hand and just using it as a as a pad which is where I thought that 
this would be better. But that is just a bit too big, and I, I think when that's wet, I mean it's dry now, and I think I will drop that, and that's that's no good. So I went on and I found these. <laughs> now I'm gonna coin these, I'm gonna call these. You heard it here first. Yeti hands. <laughs> yeah, great. So I haven't used them yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna use them. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna smash loads of foam on the car and then we're gonna use these. Because we've washed the car. And then what we're gonna do when we've washed our panel, we're gonna chuck it in our dead buckets. Remember that, yeah? Another panel, dead. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some more of them. We're gonna, we're gonna have about eight of these yeti hands. And we're gonna wash the car like a friggin' yeti. Okay? So that'll be coming soon. If I can afford the Yeti hands. Now there, them weren't actually cheap. <laughs> um, them were four pound twenty each. Um, still nowhere near as uh, as much as a as a dedicated wash mitt. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, these are already these are already fraying. Um, we'll see how long they last. But they have got a nice little uh, nice little microfiber on the back. I don't know what I'll use that for to be honest. Um, yeah, there's a wash media. That might, that might be quite entertaining for a video, so stay tuned for that one. Um, and that's it. So, if you've been adding up, the grand total, I might have missed like the odd penny off these, and things are like £2.51 and £4.19, that sort of thing, right? But if you've been adding up, 59 quid. All of that stuff there, 59 quid. Now bear in mind, I've had an £11 torch and an £11 lance. All the rest of that stuff, all of this, less than 30 quid. okay? You can't go wrong. You know, I'm doing these videos to try and wheedle out the shit. Um, but I'm getting quite good at spotting it now on, on Ali. Um, quick tip for you, if you go on there, get... The, the items that have got a lot of a lot of sales so it'll say underneath an item like 250 sold or something like that inside of them ads there will be uh, customer feedback photos and you can usually judge from there not the stock photos they put on the site but the actual customers given photos to the site um, and you can figure out there whether it's good or not anyway i hope you enjoyed this uh, part two of the aliexpress shit video that people always like to call it um, but I'm telling you now guys there's some great stuff on there um, links to well as much of this stuff as I can still find will go in the description below the video um, as always thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't you know the, the last video flamed a few of you did it boys eh? um, <laughs> and then please 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 hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber please consider becoming one um, go and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, give us a subscribe. Um, I'm aiming for that next massive milestone of a thousand subs. That will be epic when I get there. So uh, thank you to everybody who's already subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, go and hit that button. See you on the next video, guys. Bye.